what is Excel? Let's go back to a time when there was paper, big sheets of paper where you'd have columns and rows and cells. And you could put data in those cells, you could use them to make calculations. And the idea being that you would have a lot of variables and you could change one variable and rework all of the formulas throughout the spreadsheet to see how everything updated based on changes. From paper, then you get to VisiCalc, the first digital spreadsheet where you could change variables and have things update in real time. And so, you know, VisiCalc no longer exists. And then you get Lotus and um, early versions of Excel. And now today we're on Excel 2016. And you still have the columns and rows on a computer and you can put data in those cells, but you can put even pictures in those cells. You can put numbers, text, paragraphs, anything that you would want to store data and do something with it. And that's where it gets hard to explain what Excel is because so many people use data for so many different reasons. Excel can help you with anything that you can model and break down into data, anything. But it goes beyond just the storage of data and making calculations because a lot of data is not ready to be used. And so Excel has features and functions that allow you to help clean data. The classic example is if you need names that are separated by first and last name in two different cells, and then you've got a lot of names that have the whole name in one cell, how do you get that out of there? You don't wanna retype that if you've got any significant number. So this is where Excel begins to get complex, not just with the storage of the data and simple calculations, but also in the preparation of the data. And then when you get into programming Excel, you have a whole different world that opens up. You can program Excel to log into your bank once a day, retrieve your transaction data, bring it into a spreadsheet, and update all of your finances. I used Excel one time to run for four days. It went onto a website and retrieved the data. 30,000 pages of data, one page at a time. But once I figured out how we could do one and then the URL to build, the other 29,999, then Excel could just repeat that task over and over again. So in that regard, yes, Excel is truly a development platform more than just something for storing data and running calculations. I built a naughty niceometer in Excel. It counts the number of days until Christmas and it takes the children and says, okay, you told a lie, so that's negative points and you helped your sister with a homework, that's positive points. And so all of these uh, scores get added up and zero and positive numbers automatically show a picture of Santa Claus. Negative numbers automatically show a picture of Krampus. So there again, another example of how do we want to see our data? Sometimes we don't want to look at numbers. Here is a negative 12 and here is a nine. And then I've got to think, no, have a picture of Santa or a picture of Krampus and we know what's what. Excel is an app. It's a development platform that can help us with just about anything we might want to do with data. Start thinking about some ways that you can go out and see the world as data and how it might be interesting. 
what might be something interesting to know about situation and place and then convert it into data and get even more information about that. Two more things to say about what is Excel. I don't remember who said this, but he said, Excel is the second best tool for anything. And I agree with that because Excel can manage payroll. If you're managing the inventory in your restaurant, there's software for that. But that software won't also be an event planning software. And it's important to point that out because I've seen small companies look around for the perfect software. Meanwhile, nothing's getting done with the data or the data analysis. They're looking for the perfect software. When a good enough version could be developed in Excel. Because why? Because Excel is a development platform. Excel is only a tool in service of something that has real consequences that real people have to live with. In one of my videos, I describe how I took my job as one of being keep Doreen happy. Because if she called, she was not happy. Something had gone wrong and usually it was something in the data. Now, Doreen didn't care if I knew how to make pivot tables or if I forgot to put the absolute sale references in my VLOOKUP. No, she knew something was wrong. We sent her an extra thing that she didn't order. We missed something that she did order. And she was hot. So I wanted to point this out because there are often extremes with Excel. Some people want to worship it and then others will demonize it. I really don't care if people use Excel. If they can manage their data on their fingers and toes, but as long as it's accurate, and if Doreen is not calling, she does not give a damn if you are keeping her business straight using fingers and toes. The bottom line is that Excel just helps you get some stuff done.